Hey guys, the Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Europa Universalis 4 playlist. This time, starting out my 7th campaign with Castile, and even though things went well in my 6th campaign, I'm creating a 7th campaign here, because I want to be more intentional about the direction of this country, not start on you know, pointless wars or anything like that, but really commit to unifying the Iberian Peninsula and... Um, First and foremost, managing what I already have, rather than thinking that uh, conquest is going to help me. Um, so, so I'm going to create my rivalries here. So for my rivalries, I will select Morocco. I will select the Ottomans. I will select Burgundy. Now for alliances, first and foremost, you ally, you ally with Portugal. They'll accept. Then you get your advisors. Yearly prestige, okay. And I believe you need a hundred legitimacy actually, in order to unify the Iberian Peninsula, um, via. Uh, diplom diplomacy. So. So now let's set our economy. I've sent the guy from Safi, that's actually probably incorrect. Yeah, that was actually incorrect. Uh, that's okay, it's whatever, it's a very small thing in the bigger picture. Telling them to protect trade in Safi. And then, what else? Bring the remainder of these ships down here to Cadiz. We'll have the army uh, in uh, Toledo and uh, La Mancha. Actually, Toledo and Madrid is fine. Okay. And um, from there, we want to start by upgrading the La Mancha gold mine significantly. To increase uh, production here so that's what we'll be doing for some time other than that just taking a look here if there's anything else I need so we'll look more at national ideas in the future so taking a look here form Spain diplomatically so take a look here administrative technology at least 10 so this is all that is required and this is something I must have missed. You need 100 legitimacy, all province provinces in the Iberia region. Is not all provinces in Iberia is not uh, in a Muslim group. Castile is the overlord in a vassalage or union between Castile and Aragon. Beautiful, beautiful. Awesome, very good. Very cool here. So the one thing to really look at is administrative technology needs to be at 10. And so that explains why I have never been able to get that far. But since now I know it's possible, we can achieve that diplomatically in due time. So next thing to do is start improving relations with the Pope. So let's go forward one day. Then offer alliance with the Pope. He accepts. Then go forward one more day. And offer an alliance with Aragon. And they accept. So we have our three alliances, which are right there. We do not want an alliance offer from Novara. And we want a royal marry. Um, we can have a royal marriage with Portugal and Aragon. I believe. Um, you know what? I don't know. I'd probably rather just uh, propose royal marriage with Aragon for now. Yearly legitimacy goes up, though. Uh, no, we don't want to compromise our legitimacy ever, so... 
Because we need a hundred. Well, we need a hundred legitimacy down the road, right? So. Okay. Honestly, staying away from all those issues is key. Yeah, Royal Marriage from Aragon is fun. Awesome. They're just letting, you know, letting everything take its due time here. Just for right now, what we need to do is get that La Mancha gold mine producing. We're not going to be a huge military power off the beginning. That's my thought process there. So we've got our three diplomats. I would say the correct thing to do here is to improve relations. Um, first and foremost, because we're not declaring war anytime soon, so... Let's improve relations here. And we don't want to fight Aragon. It's also like really important. So we have our diplomats improving relations. So first of course we want to recon reconquer Granada. So we'll get there when we get there. Going well so far. Okay, low crown land. So see, when something like this comes up, I want to go ahead and address how do we improve crown land? Because in previous times, I had just not addressed this issue, right? So, um, so let's let's take let's pause here for a second and ask ourselves how do we improve crown land? Interesting. So in development increases crown land as well. And I think we should seize land off the beginning of the game. So development is a big idea a big idea in terms of gaining crown land. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to seize land. So we see here some zealots have risen up, and we're going to call the diet. This is as of 1466, right? Equal or larger than the Ottomans 29. Sure. Because we're going to achieve that army supply in due time. So let's have our guys march here. So we've addressed the crown land issue. And also what we need to do is continue upgrading the La Mancha gold mine. You see here, I'm going to ask um, ask for uh, military access to their land uh, once the diplomats are done their job. So yeah. Okay, that takes care of that issue. Hmm. 
Okay, cool. So we're gonna bo boost from my remember my military and administrative power are committed in terms of getting upgrades to the maximum, so. So Muslims will be fighting here in Granada. I've seen this quite a few times if you've been watching my series. Alright, no problem. Okay, so our truce with Granada has ended. So now let's start preparing for the Reconquista. What we need to do here is we need to build units. So let's build the four barks that we need. There's that. And we need a good solid army composition. So we have 18 and 6. So to start this game, the we're at Miltec like, so we can have a max, um, we're at Miltec 3, so we have a combat with a 20. So we probably want 4 horses per group. Let's upgrade the horses there. And we want 5 of the other ones here, so. 2, yep. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we need 2 more troops as well. Okay. And three more troops as well. Alright, that completes that. So let's go ahead and amass that manpower. Pause for a second here and continue upgrading La Mancha. Get this, really just get the gold production soaring because. But gold will help us tremendously, so... Portugal's off doing something. I'm just going to be diplomatic about things and keep going from there. I'm going to recall our diplomats here. And um, now we're going to go ahead and... Uh, So forming one concise team, telling them to go to port during war. One team here again with the leader, Alvaro de Luna. Again, we can have combat with a 20 actually, so. If the province can support it, we can have that much. So, you know, gather our forces here in Sevilla. Sucks. 
Probably getting a general is a good idea. For now, though, let's actually instead... Um, this can hold 25, right? Yeah, so let's move to Cadiz. And what we'll do here is we will assign a general once we land there. Okay, how much do we need? We don't need actually much more for the event to trigger. So let's actually give our military ruler command one. And then let's give our air command here. Enrique. So we have we have the you know the the air and our our second in command per se, Enrique, um, as the leader there, so yeah. Alright. Uh next up here we really actually want to keep pushing here in terms of um, increasing gold production, so. Hmm. We really need the administrative power um, as well, but we, we need both, so we'll just have to be patient about things right now. Terrible. Um, so we don't want to lose legitimacy, so this is a tough one. It's like, what is the correct answer in this situation is... We don't want to lose legitimacy. I don't know if legitimacy can go over this, but for now, let's go ahead and lose the legitimacy because the stability is very painful, so. So, yeah. And before we declare this war on Granada here, uh, we need to get the CB here, right? So, total army size, at least 100% of force limit, so. That's actually not the one I was expecting to be missing. It has 20k, so we'll build one there. And uh, there we go. We accept the royal marriage. From Aragon. Um... I think it's because we need to still be closer with Aragon for now. And there we've prepared for the Reconquista. And that will give us the CB against Granada. And actually, before we declare that war on Granada, that is where we're going to go ahead and end the video there for today. And so with that, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Light to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.